So, you think you can hide in the dark? You think you can hide from what you owe? There is no escape. Hello everybody and welcome to what used to be called the Uncutting Crew. Uh. Uh, it may have been a little while Maybe. since you last heard of us. I am Kevin, in case you have magically forgot um, from this channel, because I, I very rarely appear on it. Kevin, check your mic and remember it's recording. It's recording. Yay! Everything's fine. Yay! That's why this I went. To, that's like why I went on to it before we, we started and just went. I'm just let me double check. Yes, we are recording. Everything is good. Anyway, Everything hi, I'm I'm Kevin. The one next to me, which you can't see, is a cat. Hi. Hello. There we go. <laughs> She's leaning leaning slightly away from the microphone, so I'll get you a bit closer. Um, and then we have. He is the master of. Many things. Um, I'm a master of staying up late because I don't have any sleep whatsoever right now. So mm. he is the master of running on fumes, which is the uh, the irreplaceable Donny. Donny vibrates at such a rate. Sorry. <laughs> Donny vibrates at such a rate that he can be in multiple places at once. This is how he conquered the fandom. Donny is, um, the, Donny is, is the Sonic. Wait, Donny, Donny is the Sonic fandom equivalent to the Flash, is what you're saying? No, Donny is the Sonic <laughs> fandom equivalent to Boom Sonic. Oh, okay. Wait, does, does this mean so my fast, beard? He can be in two places at once. Does this mean my beard is a scarf this whole time? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> well, you heard it here first, folks. No, no, no. It's the inverse. Boom Sonic scarf is actually a beard. A, a, Welcome yeah, back bit, to the Uncutting bit... Crew. My beard is a scarf now. Wait, wait, wait. But that, that means I'm Sonic. Fine. That means if that, if that means Sonic's beard isn't attached to him. Uh, it's like, and it's like that just means it's like it's it's some kind of weird brown hair from Sonic that grows from his neck and then he then wraps around himself. Well, to be honest, oh God! It's not like Sonic has a chin. Oh God! That that it's true. His scarf is the same color as my beard hair. Oh God! <laughs> Anyway, um, it's been a while, and we apologise for that, but it's been an interesting number of months. Years, possibly. No, it's not a year. Like, it's not a year. Oh. Um, insert some sort of joke about Donnie breaking the space-time continuum here, but uh, in le legitimately, it's just not been possible. <laughs> it's not been possible to record, really. Find the SpongeBob time card that lists this time down to the actual yeah, fucking minute, it's... because that probably exists. Yeah, it's 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 fun. Um, so yeah, previously we did episode ten. 
uh, which I believe was Strike of the Sonic Boom Series 2. A series which, in the time we've been away, has no doubt received much support and all the issues that we had with what was going on with it have all been solved. Yes. Because proactive people out there whose job it was, is, and continues to be, most certainly did their job that they're employed for. And yes. and because of that, there is no problems at all. And we can now continue to introduce to you episode 11, which is the evil Dr. Orbot. Now, uh, as we're recording this, it is the, well, for, actually it is still for both of us, the 18th of August 2018. So when well, I, I so when I tell you that we recorded episode eleven, uh, the evil Doctor Orbot, back in December twenty seventeen, you know that it's been a very long time <laughs> since we've actually been able to do anything with Uncutting Crew, and for that I apologise, and I know that okay, so uh, people were sad that we weren't here. Including, I would note, the writers. <laughs> Apparently, um, the boom team were like, "Where are you?" Um, and I feel a bit bad that we've let them down, to be honest, by not being here. But it's like I say, uh, it's been kind of out of our control with craziness. Um, to, to basically, like, to basically sum up what has been going on, to it's been like, if I'm around to record. They're not around to record. If they're around to record, I'm not around to record. <laughs> yeah. I've been super busy with work. Kat's been dealing with stuff. Donnie's been dealing with stuff. And just events. And we're, we're literally recording this because Kat is here. Phys physically present in the flat with me. Yeah. Uh, and if we don't do this now, goodness knows when, because Gamescom's just about to start, and I'm just going to be toast for the next seven days. So, so uh, that's going to be fun. Anyway, so episode eleven, episode, 11. episode, 11, episode uh, 11. evil evil Doctor Orbot, uh, which will also then include the post show for that from that period. So, and are with our reactions uh, afterwards and some discussion. So, we're going to time travel. So, that might be, so that might be depending upon what's said, because I actually honestly don't know. <laughs> you know, most people record the podcast beginning, then middle, then end. Yeah, but there's a reason why we did this. Because we recorded episode uh, 11 after we recorded the intro uh, commentary and outro of episode 10. And then we did like episode eleven, and I was like, "We'll record a we'll record a pre-show at a later date." And then didn't. Not just, you've <laughs> not just explained away the problem; you have just explained how complicated the problem is. Yes, I'm sorry. And, I was and, trying and, to be nice to everybody. <laughs> and somehow this is pretty much exactly the same case we're doing here, where we're recording a piece of. Yeah, but from that, after this, we're then going on and doing good news for you guys we're then going on to do the whole of episode 12 including a proper pre-show where we'll talk about everything that's happened since then uh and boys there have been um, quite a few things to actually discuss um, oh boy this oh, is gonna be fun boy. anyway um so we've got that uh so look out for the post show bit though on this because donnie starts pa i do remember that donnie starts panicking a lot at a suggestion um, Why? I, I know, I'm, not, I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you. Um, however, um, from what I say and suggest, guys who are listening to this, please put down in the comments as to whether or not uh, you think we should. Uh, and I need you to do some very encouraging words for Donnie because he really does not. So, <laughs> we've got that. Um, Dully's now trying to remember what the heck it was. I'm not going to let him. Uh, so, there's that. Also, watch out during the episodes, uh, because with uh, great thanks to our friend Alan Denton, we have some factoids which will be dispersed throughout the actual commentary from him on the making of this episode, and that will also follow through into episode 12 as well. Mm. Um... <laughs> We hailed 
Mm. Donnie's still trying to remember, and I'm still not going to let him. We so, failed him in our senses. Yeah, we, 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 I... I uh, sent I, I sent I, I, no, I, I sent him a very funny message that I n- knew that we could get away with <laughs> and he very kindly consented to once again provide some information and factoids about what went on with the production process some of the decisions that were made some of the jokes um, the decisions why that was and you know um, Things they do throughout the series are, are explained, and uh, there's a couple of did you knows. So, and you probably didn't. So, look out for that. Anyway, I will now pass over to myself oh. from eight months ago, and he, that handsome devil, the extremely beautiful sidekick. And the one with the beard will also uh, be there. And they, from that time, from the from the happy times of 2017, uh, will take you happy through. Happy times. Happy time. There was some somewhere. Comparatively. I, I, yeah, I don't know where. I don't. Not sure where exactly, but you know, um, I'm sure there was some somewhere, uh, and they will take you through episode 11, the evil Doctor Orbot. He'll beard me and he'll beard you. Poker <laughs> dawn, but gently. Well, I would hope it'd be gentle. Otherwise, then we'll just have a Pillsbury Doughboy moment and I'll just make giggling sounds, which I don't think people would want to see right now. Oh, I don't know. A giggle dawn? Giggle dawn. A giggle dawn. Giggle dawn. Giggle dawn. Giggle. Rigadon. Hey, Rigadon! Suggested you would be giggles, and now I actually wish to hear you giggle. There you go. Uh, (laughs) Anyone gets the reference I just made, by the way, well done. Hello, guys, and welcome to episode 11 of the Uncutting Crew Sonic Boom thing. Uh, (laughs) We're doing... (laughs) We're doing things for the Uncutting Crew again, believe it or not. Uh, I'm Adani. Um... I'm completely at fault for why this has been taking so long. Uh, Donnie. And... Donnie, an Earth-type commentator. <laughs> that would be a Kevin. Uh, or Marvin the Martian. I don't know anymore. Uh, <laughs> I think he's trying to be Dexter. Supposed to be. I was trying to be the Pokedex. <laughs> yeah, the Pokedex is oh. called Dexter. Oh, I don't know. The Pokedex I, I, is Pokemon, is I don't Dexter. care. I'm not sure why, but... And there's a cat joining him in a, in a room. There together. is indeed. There's a cat joining him in a room. You in a room. That sound very suspicious. <laughs> it is very suspicious. What kind of room am I? Am it's I very him? suspicious. Oh my. Oh my. You know, I don't know if people. <laughs> the imagination. Donnie's also. I'll, I'll tell you what. What's even more scandalous? Donnie is also in a room. Oh. Well, I can tell that because around him there are raw there are raw, raw. around him there are words I cannot say, but also around him there are walls, and above him is a ceiling, and below him is a floor. I love how you were explaining that. I looked to my side to see the wall. I looked above to see the ceiling, <laughs> and I looked below to see the floor. And it, like, yes. It, it's yes. also a stealth room because apparently it's crept up on Donnie and he's not actually <laughs> he's not you should all be wary of rooms they'll creep up on you and when you least expect them pounce and you'll be inside one and you won't know how to get out unless it's a door in which case that's kind of an invitation or is it is it actually a ruse are doors ruses you no it's probably me. just a ruse no, a rouge, not a rouge. <laughs> That's what a rouge wants you to believe. Doors aren't bats. <laughs> are they just talking silly? Doors what am bats. I not talking silly? Let's be fair here. I know, but let's get on with things. We're actually doing two episodes back-to-back recording because, dear God, we're actually in the same place for once. So, <laughs> so. Well, you two are in the same place. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're in in the physical sense, but in the virtual sense of us actually, you know, 
being in a position where we're here. We're here. Breaking news, we're here. Mm. Mm. Um, the, we, we're, we're taking the opportunity to just go, ah, and just d- bang out another one because why not? It was pretty, it was, it was pretty quickish now. Figure that down. and because the alternative, which I can't say, was a lot more foreboding. <laughs> yes. We were going to replace Donny. He was going to be replaced. Yeah. By a mysterious entity. Also, potentially Kazzy. If I didn't quite Kazzy. I still want Kazzy to appear on the show. I think she'd be great. When she's not, I... bu- when she's not busy zipping across to America to watch Big Bang Theory live in the studio. What? She she's a massive she's not big. What she literally does. No, she she's a massive Big Bang Theory fan, and she's gone to see the show live many times, and the, the cast even kind of knows her by sight now. Weird. No, yeah, not really. Just dedicated. Also, she has this ability to fly quite easily because she works at an airport. Mm. So she is comfortable in flying and she going works in the area of an airport where she, she can get away with she that. works in the area of an airport more specifically the area in the airport where there's you know planes so <laughs> it's that helps. which was the area of the airport with stuff in it yes you share you share a common bond with Kazzy in that you both have worked at airports yeah anyway. technically I wasn't supposed to do that yeah technically technically you were just like an undercover entity who happened to be working at an airport I was a small mascot you're a mascot. Aw. You were, but you worked so hard. Yes. And you did so good. Yeah. Anyway. I thought uh, I was a mascot. You are the mascot. You're the mascot for everything. Uh, well, you are the mascot. Age. You're the mascot for the vague hope that Sonic fans will get their act together, Donnie. Donnie's the mascot of journalism. Journalism. Journalism! Okay, video da, game da, journalism, da. but that's still technically journalism. Journalism! Is he, <laughs> is he the... He's the mascot for video game journalism carried out in the journalistic fashion. He's the mascot for Germanism. Journal. Journal. No, he's just, just, we're just slapping some uh, Oktoberfest gear onto Donnie. Oh dear. Get out, you leave that one. So wait, I'm, so wait, now I'm Bill Freiberger or something? Like. Hey, he, 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 he's worn lederhosen many a time. It's now your turn, Donnie, we've decided. Oh. Um, so tune back in the new year yes. for uh, for the Lederhosen the, the, the Donny Fest spectacular the, the, the late the Ladon Hosen I don't there, know yeah, ah there we go that's that's where that's where I was hoping to go and then somehow I didn't but yes yeah. so yes tune but we'll have our own special own special festival where there'll be many things what do you like to drink Donny in terms of a beverage of any kind Eggnog. Eggnog. There will be eggnog galore. Eggnog scares me. Non-alcoholic eggnog, yeah. mind you. But, yeah. That scares me less. Otherwise known as evil eggnog. Evil nog. Evil eggnog. Otherwise known as drinks for normal people. Yes. I, I don't actually, like, drink, so... And, yeah. And so, what? Well, you drink something. That's why I said, like, a beverage of any kind. Um, no, I mean like I don't. In terms of alcohol, I don't drink well, alcohol. Yeah, but we meant liquid. Yeah, I'm the I'm the only one of, of the three of us who drinks alcohol, and even I don't drink alcohol that much anymore, at all. So because I'm old, what's the point? Hey, tastes stupid. Tastes stupid. Is that you? Yeah. It smells stupid. See, this this crew may be uncutting, but we do it sober. <laughs> We're not half cut. <laughs> the unhalf cutting crew. <laughs> That's awfully specific. Yeah. All right. So episode 63 of the series in total. Episode 11 of uh, season two two is uh, another episode by uh, Benmar Grenier, which I will never pronounce right, apparently. Um, Who also had, well, there's been many episodes. Much episode. Much episode. Kat, go through the list of the episodes there. Beyond the Valley of the Cue Box. Woo! We love that episode. Robot Battle Royale, the teleplay. Counterproductive. I can't remember what that is, and I'm gonna. No. It's been that long. <laughs> Alone again, unnaturally. The evil Dr. Robot, which we're about to watch. Mm. 
Nine to five knuckles. Working nine to five. What nine a way to make an echidnas. Um, unnamed episode. Does it count? Uh, yeah, no, that's the one where it's they deciding no, I mean, about does it count? the village. As, does it count as an episode title if the title is? No, but it, it's specifically about the the naming of unnamed village. If I remember I rightly, it is. It is. Um, you and I become one, and don't make me angry. I'm threatened. You're friend. Yeah, that. Yeah, that name is very foreboding too. So. It's very ominous. The blood we're all looking for. Mm. Producer on the film Night of the Living Deb. Which I think requires some further investigation. Night of Living Deb is a 2015 American romantic horror comedy filmed by Kyle Rankin. It stars a number of people I don't give a damn about. Um, one of whom plays an awkward woman who, after a one night stand, realises she has woke awoken to a zombie apocalypse as you do well that's what happens I mean, it's, it's a rankin bass special if it's by no, rankin no, directed by kyle rankin it's directed by a person called rankin it doesn't mean that it's mm. a rankin bass production no oh well i'd be um, deeply concerned if it was it was all it was also produced by somebody called chad nicholson who presumably just finished at a, a very specific university that was dedicated to uh, de dedicated film school for jocks, basically. I'm guessing it, it, it's not golf related, no, or something no. like. It was also produced by Michael Cassidy, who has quite possibly the most "I am in film" name there has ever been. Maybe it seems. Legend of Michael Cassidy. Anyway, it had a budget of, and this is very specific, $106,000. That is quite specific. <laughs> very specific. You can tell it was budget, though. Mm. At a bar, Deb Clarington, a camera operator for the local news, sees an attractive man, Ryan Waverly. <laughs> although initially... Although initially too insecure to approach him, her friend Ruby talks her into it, into it while awkwardly hitting on him. Deb is interrupted by Ryan's fiance, who breaks up with him when he refuses to accept a high paying job at his father's company. The next thing Deb knows, she wakes in Ryan's bed with a hangover, among other things. Ryan asks her to leave, and after several attempts to seduce him, she reluctantly agrees. Huh? I'm slightly confused as to the thread of the sentence now. Seeing people attack and cannibalize each other, Deb saves Ryan from a zombie attack and they return to his apartment with... And then they continue trying? For some reason. Blah 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 blah. Deb realizes that they can use her television station to send out a broadcast that cannot be jammed. After she proclaims her love for Ryan on air, she is bitten. Oh, as opposed to smitten. Believing herself to be turning into a zombie, she asks Ryan to leave her behind and wait for help, but he refuses to abandon her, instead offering to him what? Instead offering to himself to her as zombie food. That's an interesting sentence. Before yeah. she before she can bite him, paramedics break into the station and reveal the virus is not contagious. What the heck? This is a zombie film. How did you do that? Other characters I have yet to mention reveal also to have survived, although are under arrest, and encourage Ryan to proclaim his love to Deb. As fighter jets bomb the city, Deb and Ryan kiss. Okay, and that's, then... That, that sounds like a good ending shot. And then, the next thing Deb knows, she wakes in Ryan's bed with a hangover. Ryan oh, no! asks her to leave, and after several attempts to seduce him, she reluctantly agrees, <laughs> sending seeing people attack and cannibalize each other. Hey, Deb then saves Ryan from a zombie Kevin attack and they return to his apartment and it's all one massive cycle and oh my god will we ever get off of this probably <laughs> oh. are you free now yes we're free now so either Dr. Air Alter or Bot yeah. I suppose Dr. Air Bot my, my head Air Bot today. I'm sorry everybody um, evil Dr. Or Bot uh, aired the 21st of January 2017 
Kevin continues to feel that time has passed. Time goes by. At least that's in the US. Uh, Francie was in April. Um, France and was Italy in, was in Italy September. Was in September. That and Britain, it has never aired, apparently. No, it hasn't. It has never aired. Technically, we've never even finished We've never one. had it. Technically, we've never That's even true. finished season one. That's true. I wonder when they're going to release season two DVDs over here. Because hopefully they'll release them first again over here. Mm. And then everyone will be annoyed. Hopefully they'll put shit up on Netflix. Who knows? Who knows anything? Who knows? Anyway. Who knows anything? So, okay. we have got an episode, um, another episode with Warbot in it. Yeah. We've got, so ba- we've got back to back schedule. robot, back to back robot episodes. It's very strange scheduling. Hmm. So, we will go into that now. Unless anyone else has got anything they want to specifically add before we do. I take your silence to be an indicator oh. that you have no idea of anything you would, either of you would want to say. No, because I don't remember this episode. <laughs> you don't remember this episode? Okay. I think I've I think I've seen it with you, Pat, actually. I think I've seen this episode. Probably. Okay. But I can't remember it. Mm-hmm. Apart from apart from the uh, the fact that the, the, the title gives it away slightly. <laughs> okay. No, surprisingly, it's about Sonic and Friends doing it. Right. <laughs> Alright, so ready everybody? There we go. Yay! It's Sonic Boom! Knuckles is a dick to the ground and other things. Woo! Donna! I just realized we didn't really see much of Knuckles in the previous episode, did we? It was one of those episodes where there's like, yeah, there's various characters who just don't appear that much. Breaking news! Billy Breaking news, Kirby's coming. Is on the rise. <laughs> Criminals are scamming our most Hi. citizens. Hey. Uh, he's right. Yeah. Blatantly disrespecting posted traffic signage. <laughs> and stealing candy from even the ugliest of babies. Well, I never. <laughs> well, that's, that's also, just personal. Sonic and Eggman are in the midst of an epic battle with our very way of life hanging in the balance. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he was. Hey! Hey, it's Knuckles. He exists. We're bringing back the fuzzy puppies. Oh well, we were bringing back the fuzzy puppies. I thought you loved fuzzy puppies. Continuity. Jesus. Fuzzy puppy bubble burst. All my adorable figurines have plummeted in value. But if I destroy the remaining, ah, they're like pop figures. Your economics are sound, but your methods aren't. We're about to give you your maximum sustainable yield of pain. That was bad. Sonic. That that was a that very was very reaching. That yeah, that was Gentlemen, very. Well, actually, no, it was very relevant to the, the city conversation. Of bankruptcy. We didn't rig that election just to stand by and do nothing. <laughs> did he just admit that they? Yes, they did admit. Yes. evil doers must obtain a. You know, it turns it out that the mayor the was in talks with Russia feet. before he started. Oh. And... Now, 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 calm down. All you need God, to do is emails. Pay and take an evil competency test. The oh, oh, um... You have 60 minutes to complete the exam. Make sure to fill the bubbles completely with the number two pencil. Oh, look, it's Fastidious Beaver again. Mm. And we seeing a lot of him, too, lately. You're, you're evil! Steal the pencil! One of these. Thanks, buddy. 20 bucks. What? That's highway robbery! I know you don't have a permit for that yet. <laughs> Who cares? You're an evil. You're supposed. Hey, no, they're getting this is gonna be easier Yeah, but <laughs> it's regulated evil. <sighs> Question one: If a train full of innocent civilians is traveling west at sixty miles per hour, and a missile of unspeakable destruction is aiming <laughs> east at one hundred fifteen <laughs> miles per hour, a middle schooler could answer this. Just gotta factor in wind resistance and terminal velocity. Curvature of the planet. How many people are on this train anyway? It's possible he's thinking. Or alternatively, he's actually put the most complete answer he could possibly do. Thus showing he's an actual genius. I like when they show Eggman's a genius. Yeah. You barely see it. Yeah. In fairness, he's got as much just as much chance of getting it with that. 
And then he woke up, and then he woke up and found he wasn't wearing any pants and all sorts of things. Evan. All right, fellow across. Lunch is on me. I know a great vending machine we can top. Hey. Oh, I like all the little, the little drawn, the little drawn <laughs> pictures of them all. Sweet. Oh, is that a poster for the circus on the same billboard? I thought it was the one that was like a big top poster. It's more than three months. Oh, no. Don't worry about it, Dr. E. You'll get him next time. I'll be your study buddy. We'll work Yay. together every day from dawn to Yay. dawn. The next three months and several days will fly right by. As delightful <laughs> as that sounds, so awesome. I have an idea he that is. won't make me want to jump head first off At least Orbat's being very generous to help. Take that test again, but you can. I'm flattered, but I don't test well. I'm more street smart. Not you. <laughs> street, <laughs> smart. <laughs> street smart. Street smart. You know, he's, he's, you often see Q-Bot just... No, 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 he's sweet smart. No, you, you often see him, like, loitering on corners, snapping his fingers. No, loitering, that's legal. Yes, but he's evil. At least, at least he's street smart, I guess. Yes. Got New York City Hot? For tomorrow's exam, I'll need to download an evil textbook directly into my memory. Where's your textbook? Also, technically, it's not illegal to steal your textbooks. Actually, it is illegal to steal your textbooks. Now, evil courses through but they're my robbing you anyway, so having <laughs> to pay for them. Like it. Oh dear. Yeah, there is a lot of them there for their circus. I did it. A perfect score. Don't take wow. Because of me, you knew to bring pencils. That's half the battle right there. Now, come yeah, on. That's true. damn straight. That's the entry battle. <laughs> The evil message boards are all buzzing about that two-tailed goober having some sort of new weather control. <laughs> the evil, the evil message boards. Let's just blow up tails. It's not the goober. Well, they were doing a lot of that in the previous episode, oh, no. so I mean. Uh, I said aim for the wall. You yes, robot. aim for the wall. Blow up tails. Make a show of it, not a stealth mission. What are you doing? Are you playing this game well? Wait, wait, wait. You know what this means, don't you? If they didn't do that, that means Tails yeah. is alive. Hey, you did it a little differently than I wanted. Hashtag Tails is alive. Right. Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it eventually. I think you did pretty good, and not a single casualty. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> also, Tails is playing God again. That's okay. Also, oh, hello. Tails was oh, they're yeah, having a picnic. Well, Hey! I have a superior idea. I have a superior idea. Let's wreck their not date. Look at that way. Not the potato salad! Oh, that's oh, where are they gone? Wow! Success! Hey, I love how they didn't even notice that there was blue sky around the cloud. Because Blue sky is gonna clear up. Put on a happy face. We gotta talk. You see, puppet masterings are two ways. Can you feel the sunshine? Say, do you remember your fuzzy puppy warehouse failure from a few days ago? That's exactly what I'm talking about. You're not ready to pull off an advance maneuver yeah. like that. Oh, Come that's on. strange. Because I've already done it. Rather than destroy the warehouse, <laughs> I purchased the entire surplus supply of figurines at deep discount closeout prices. Actual amiiboing. I posted a well, flyer saying that a mystery He's literally amiiboed the show. 1, bucks for each fuzzy puppy figurine, thus creating an artificial demand. At the same time, I took out an ad in the newspaper offering to well. sell the aforementioned <laughs> surplus figurines for 500 bucks a piece. People came in droves, and they didn't buy just one, they purchased 3. One to play with, one to keep mint in the box, and one to resell to the mystery Very descriptive buyer. here, Orvac. <laughs> <laughs> he encouraged I approve of mustache wearing you, but... But, but where's the senseless destruction? Where's the violence? Where's the fun? <laughs> I decided to do it properly instead. We've replaced fun with competency. Plan. This is disastrous. What's the point of being a puppet master if the puppet doesn't do what you say? That's why I'm cutting my strings. Say hello to the newest villain in town, the evil Dr. Orbot. Title uh, draw. So now anyone can call themselves a doctor. Roll huh? Hey, Dr. O, can I be your flunky? I want to be on a winning team for once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Q 
Keybot's dropping the burns everywhere. <laughs> oh no, Beth's gonna get run over. So this is the second time in a row Orbot and Cubot abandoned Eggman. Well, no, this time they've abandoned him, and then he abandoned them the previous episode. Oh my god, it, it, it is an actual... It's an actual stick. It's a stick flip. Stick flip. Apparently, you call that a stick flip. A stick flip where you have one episode where the character does something and then. Or has a particular thought pattern, Wait, and then the very next episode is the, the same character with the exact reverse. No, my the exact reverse thing happens yeah, yeah, in the we'll episode. It, and there's my baby. He's just Orbot. I don't know. He's just he Orbot. Scores, pretty evil. Yep. Yeah. Monitor the test scores of villains. He's doing his so yeah. job. Swig's so doing homework. Knuckles <laughs> <laughs> is already dead. Dude, he's already dead. Dude, it's already dead. Heat seeking missiles. Why would it? Why would it not hit tails? Why would it not hit? Why would it not hit tails? Minions, attack! Hmm. Okay, force field. <laughs> Only at the front, apparently. Okay. Well. More missiles. Mm. Is that a Star Wars laser spec there? Oh wait, you have a permit. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> the mayor's dead! <laughs> oh wait, no, he lives. The permits have all been destroyed. Without the proper paperwork, I guess this whole evil permit law is null and void. <laughs> well, success! My plan worked perfectly. Your plan? I knew power would go to your head, and I needed those records destroyed. Oh man, I puppet mastered you so high. Well played, but you haven't seen. I have a very sneaking suspicion oh, that so Eggman hard. didn't actually plan that. You know, I really prefer spineless stooge Orbot to bossy jerkface Orbot. Apparently, this is how it's. Wow. Easy. This is how easy it is to reset him. Who's up for charades? Oh, Yay! <laughs> and there we go. It's all fixed now. <laughs> Look, Amy has the hero pose there. Amy so, and oh, Tails have hero poses in the other two. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I believe this is yours. And then Tails gets struck by that. Hey, at least he was nice to give it back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that I that I was for laughing. Mm. It's cute. So Sticks is a character in this series, by the way. And I uh, will see her eventually. Sometimes yeah, th there was the no sign of, of, of sticks something. at all in this episode. Anyway, Technicola, woo! Well, technically, her friends boarded her up in her house, in her warren. This is true. But were her friends really the government? No, 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 they were just oh, very boy, here we go. Are we, are we back to the Illuminati were her thing friends again? The, were her friends the government? But if they're the government, they're not her friends. So how could they be the government? Oh my are we, are god. Are we back to the Illuminati thing again? or? Yes. I don't know what we're doing in here. The Doniati. Mm. Secret society do exist. Doniati. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, so that, there was that episode. Musical Kevin. Um, I didn't find that as funny as the last one. Not quite as funny as the last one. It, it wasn't like his laugh at like it, it was it was a sort of a high concept one. Mm. Just to see sort of hey, what if somebody went the other? But I do like the line I puppet mastered you so hard. <laughs> <It's> like <laughs> I puppet mastered you good. It's like, okay. He puppet mastered him so good. But, mm. but you talked over the reveal where it turned out he didn't puppet master him. Yeah, this is true, but I like I still like the line. Um, yeah, for me, it was. I'm gonna be interested in Donnie's highlight here, actually, when we get to it, as to who it is, because I know who my one would be. But I'll wait for Donnie to, to say you his. Um, Cat. Yeah. Anything about the episode you really like? Hmm. 
No, she's thinking. Hmm. Is there a countdown theme here? The cat, please answer it now. Boo. Oh, you, you got an answer out of her laughter. But, uh... Yeah, we got, uh, her her response was laughter. But laugh. Well, I I do employ and I do I do employ. No, that's <laughs> episode. Um, I, Wait, I'm being I, put to work here. I, I wasn't aware. Hmm. I I I do enjoy that the moment it became too much for Eggman was when all bot scalped. Yeah. Like a normal person. <laughs> and Eggman's only objection was but you didn't blow stuff up. So like, no, he did something worse. He did something <laughs> infinitely worse. He was cr so he was calculating. Which makes sense if he's basically a walking he calculator. He it. What? Oh yes, he he basically uh It's it's eBay the, eco eBay. the economic plan. It's eBay. eBay. And he made millions of dollars, I think, out of it. Too. Yeah, that's basically funded the uh, the lair for the next five years, probably. <laughs> I'm sure we could probably figure out the actual amount that he, they would have actually made on that. I think it's probably you can probably calculate it, but anyway. So that's us. I hope you guys enjoyed it at home, by the way. Um, as always, been, um, if there's any of um, these, then obviously let us know in the comments. But before we get to, to um, uh, anything else, Donny. Hi. Who is your highlight, Donny? Um, my highlight uh, was sticks. Oh. Well, that doesn't sound. That's not very nice. But but sticks. Like my highlight, sticks was very good. My, my highlight was stick because and... it wasn't there. How very rude. But that. But it wasn't. But it's not because. I'm not saying it's a bad thing because she's bad. I'm saying it's a good thing because she knows when not to show that. She knows that when. Duty calls, she will answer. Even though for some reason cool Duty didn't actually there was call a her. Government but... plan to make evil legal. Mm. I'm a, I'm impressed. I guess it was because it was publicly announced. But 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 we like Nika. We like Nika. We want to in more episodes. But, why are you but, being Why are you being mean to Nika? I'm. But I'm. I'm not. I. I'm. That is the reason. Stop why bullying is people, Donny. <laughs> Stop it right now. Stop being mean to the lady who played. Yeah. The Star yeah. yeah. Boo. The second voice of a Sarge Ventura story. Down with Donny. <laughs> well, that's what the Sonic fan base really wants from me for like the last year and a half. So. I mean, they tell me to shut up all the time. So I mean. Down with Donny, up with sticks. Speak, Donny, speak. I'm not, but I'm not saying it was a bad thing that sticks. Like, I want sticks to show up more. It's just she only shows up when she needs to. So, so no, seriously, Donny, who, was, who was your highlight? And don't say sticks, because. Um. The fuzzy puppies. They were in the episode. That was my highlight. That counts, Kevin. That counts. I, there really wasn't any pre character in particular that stood out to me. So. Made a valuable contribution. Okay. That value being five hundred bucks a piece. Okay. Who? Were the, who? Were the, okay. Donny, who was your highlight? It was Cubot. Thank you, Donny. <laughs>
<laughs> Qbot's my highlight. Okay, Kevin's highlight is that highlight was Qbot's and uh, the uh, the savage burns dropped by Qbot. <laughs> Yeah, that was uh the Cube had some very good lines. And the fuzzy puppies were indeed a thing, as as Donnie mentioned. And we, we hey, the fact that we got direct continuity was Which is nice. rare. Yeah. Yeah. And that wasn't an episode the, the the Fuzzy Puppies episode wasn't an episode that uh Benoit wrote, right? It was it was one of those episodes where it was less so on humor and more so on story. Yeah. And plot. Yeah. Which so, is so, te- which it, tends it's, to it's be it's, it's odd that there was a, an episode that was actually uh, there was actually a continuity between two episodes and it was two different writers who wrote it. It wasn't a writer doing a follow up to their story. Hmm. So that's so that's All- a little different. All I know is that in season two, it quickly became a theme where you had some episodes that were more ba- focused on humor, and then you had other, epi- and then you also had episodes that were more focused on story and plot. And it just, I don't know if they fit to if the, it melds together that well. But and then there were some that was entirely focused on singing. Well, that's just that's just been our, our commentaries, if anything. But, but we'll get <laughs> but we'll get to that. There is an episode. There was a musical episode. Well, the, the, we 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 get there the was a musical segment. we get the return of the best band ever at some point. Yes. Dreamboat Express. Oh yeah. Them and Dudatude. Them and Dudatude, yeah. And holy. Technically. Christ, the Dudatude songs. Yeah. It's like wow, we stepped up. We stepped up real good. What the hell is happening? Uh, they got rid I, of the I, I blame I blame the idiots who kept demanding the, 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 a musical episode. I blame those guys. It, it's because they got rid of the auto tune. I mean, when you get rid of auto tune, it really makes a difference. The uh, talent comes shining through. Hmm. It was more about the lyrics. It, sh- it shines so much greater than Song of Inter DX's graphics. So, most anything does. No, 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 no. That's not the shiniest. Does it shine brighter than Sonic Heroes? Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Maybe. Is, is, that, the, is luminosity up to about 125 percent? That that's the cute on shiny one. It's it's an, it's up for an, it's up for debate, but that's maybe. That's the shimmer hog. The shimmer hog. Oh dear. As a question, guys, mm-hmm. I know we've got plenty of episodes still to come, mm-hmm. but which character that's not the main six? in this show I'm not talking about any other main six that might even might exist um, any character apart from then who you would like to see get more of a standalone episode about them any of like the, the background characters or the ensemble well, I, cast shall I say well I, I would say the fuzzy puppies but they technically already did get an episode so they've had two that. episodes dev- it's, it's a fictitious game Donny that uh, that's been devoted to two episodes technically um characters that i i, I think even the, the the boom team would would agree that people the, that talk can have skeletons i guess <laughs> would you like, um, anybody you'd like to see come back and have another episode <laughs> or what um i can't really think of any secondary characters i'd like to see have an episode focused on them i mean they, they, compared to a lot of the secondary characters i see in shows they're they're good but i don't know if they're good to the point where they need their own episodes i can see dave i can see dave the intern getting uh More an episode and then he kind of does get his own episodes dave's like, on, the, dave's like the breakout character of the series yeah okay. The fact I mean, that people were using forces to forces to make Dave pleased me no end. It's like, yes, yes, you should exactly be doing that. Make a cool Dave. That is the best use of Sonic Forces that uh, there actually is. 
out there making what? Dave the intern. Well, that's brain oh yeah, that that no. reminds me. The last time we oh, did do an that reminds me. The last time we did have an uncutting group session of Boom Sonic Boom or Sonic Boom Sonic Forces and Sonic Mania weren't even out yet. <laughs> Yes, they were just a glimmer in the eyes of... Izuka. Yeah. He, whose eyes hold many glimmers. Yes. Many of them are more successful than others. I'm not even joking. <laughs> he's, he's a very shiny-eyed man. <laughs> many, many glimmers, we including met classic him Sonic. Times. He is, and he always has Honest a Sonic. Boom mm. Sonic. Restaurant Sonic. Uh... <laughs> Sonic X? Restaurant Sonic. There, there is a restaurant here that's called Sonic, so... Indeed. Kevin's been. I have. I made a point. I made a point. We've covered it on this show before. Anyway. So. Um, Kat, was there anybody that you think would make a good one? Mm. Oh god, she's thinking again. <laughs> no, 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 just just give an answer, please. It's hard to answer because this is a show that, because it has such a particularly short running time, tends to spend that running time on its main characters. Hmm. But if but if that if but who would you like there to be an so episode devoted to? We've had two seasons, like. If there is a character who has enough characterization to have an episode focus on them, I think at this point that episode has already happened. Yeah, but in in spite of that, like, if, like a character who you'd like to see another episode from the, about them. I want to see another episode from the um, from the wolf photographer lady. Oh yes, because I do like her. Uh, that's, that's a nice one. I d do we ever get an episode about the rabbit? Um, the rabbit does appear in the um, I it... social media parody episode. Oh, good. We get something. We get something about that. Social media. Oh God, I didn't know about that. Is there really a social media episode? Yes, yes, there oh, is. Oh, jeez. Eggman starts his own Why? social media website called Scrambler. Good, um, in, in, actually, in all seriousness, that's a really good name for a social media a really network. Good, it's a, that's a legitimately really good name. It's more of a though. It's more of a Facebook than a Tumblr. But um. So are there are there are there, are there kitty pictures? Because hmm? most likely kitty, kitty pictures. You know, they, I, I assume they that Eggman has no problem with that. Kitty yeah. pictures do canonically exist on the internet in Sonic Boom. We've had there, there spoken are spoken confirmation of this. There are photos of you? No. No, an actual There are photos cat. of you in Sonic Boom? Why? There, there's an Easter egg. Actual cats. Oh, actual cats. Well, they're not living as interesting. <laughs> well, actual. Well, to be fair, both cat and actual cats both like birds. Uh, they take a lot of time to think. Um, <laughs> we both meow. Um. She does me now. Yeah. So Don't it's stop. Kevin now suffering. Yes. He's being told not to meow, everybody. <laughs> it's a habit. Wow. And, and Donnie immediately does it. <laughs> Donnie, you are not cat. I am on speaking terms with a kitten that lives down two roads from where Kevin lives. Or three this is, roads. This is... In actually all seriousness, this is true. <laughs> this is because um, I apparently speak enough enough like baby kitten meow yeah no we we seriously there's a uh, calico cat there's a calico cat and her daughter and her daughter who as i say who lives down and, the road and the daughter is very fond of me and the mom um eh, tolerant knows my meow enough to react to it as if it was a kitten's meow mm. I don't think she actually minds this. We went. We we person. legitimately went to the shops the one day, and I was like, "Oh look, there's there's the kitten." And then Cat proceeded to meow at it, and it meowed back, the same <laughs> meow. And then there was a small conversation. Yeah. And then it followed Cat for a while, and it sort of leapt in the air in a little skippy fashion, and um, was very happy with itself. Yeah. And it made a new friend, and they keep meowing at each other. Yes. And I was just standing there, going, "Why am I here?" Oh. Um. <laughs> like 
but uh, and wondering what the hell was going on. Yeah. So, so basically, a cat speaking cat. Um, cat cat can speak cat to a cat. Yeah. Follow that. Somebody is waiting for this joke to end. It's just. It's like, not. It's not, it's, it's not a joke. <laughs> it's not a joke. It's not a joke. We're serious. I, I, I have spoken bird once. Oh, yeah, that, that was a really sad one, though. That was so sad. That was so sad. That was the only one of its species there, and you made it think there was another one. I know. <laughs> I, in a cruel, in a cruel twist I didn't of mean fate. To be cruel. I was hoping that there was another one because I thought I had more than one of the calls, and no, I, 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 there was only one, Aww. and it was sad. Sonic Boom happened as well, by the way. Um, yeah, that that happened. Well, anyway, but yeah, and that's why Cat is basically Doctor Doolittle. Um, I, I I thought she was Eliza Thornberry, but okay. <laughs> you can talk to animals. Could be. She could be. It's basically the same trope. So yes, welcome to uh, Uncutting Crew, the Jungle movie, um, which. <laughs> it's a transition to another Nick too. Yes, indeed. Well, the no, the original Jungle movie I think was going to have uh, Wild Thornberries in it at some point, an original draft or something. And then that ended up being Red Rats Go Wild. Then it ended up becoming Red Rats Go Wild. Which made slightly more sense because they were the same production design. Yes. But also went slightly Oro when you have like the climactic sequence is like Nigel Formery and the babies are like in the in, submarine and they're going to die. In yeah. Is and it... he just looks after them and it's like this is legitimately one of the saddest things I've ever watched. Mm. It's like you you marketed this film to me based on the fact that Bruce Willis was voicing a dog and that I could use this card to smell and to smell the film. The that early was actually how it was the two thousands, everybody. <laughs> I remember going to see yeah, this we were... at the cinemas. There was a scratch and sniff card that went with it. Mm. It was so. Weird. Did, 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 did so this was one of the scratch and sniffs? This is Bruce Willis as a dog. No, but I think one of them was dog smell. Okay. So, it was so, necessary in a film. As, as, as a question, have, have either of you actually seen the uh, Jungle movie? Yeah. I have not seen nope. the Jungle movie, but that's because I didn't really watch okay. Hey Arnold as a kid, and um, I, I I can tell you that Kazu's watched it about twenty times. I have heard it's really good, but also really not friendly to people who haven't. Oh watched God, the no! Oh God, no! And they go out of their way to not be, <laughs> because fuck it, we've waited twenty years for this damn thing to come along. We're not going to start pandering to new people. <laughs> If, you, if you're gonna watch this, then you're gonna watch the series. So we're not gonna explain any of it. Yeah. You watched the show previously. You're tough, which I got kind of respect <laughs> for on that. Oh dear. Anyway, I wonder what we should watch next. No. Oh no! Oh no! Cutting crew. Anime. No. 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 I I know what you're suggesting. No. <laughs> Mega Man, <laughs> Um, we could watch Mega Man. Uh, the old, old Mega Man. Mega Man, Net Warrior also exists. Yes, but old Mega Man probably first bought that. The Ruby Spears Speaking of Mega Man, there's the actually a new Mega Man coming before. soon. What's that, Donny? I said, speaking of Mega Man, there's actually a new Mega Man game coming soon. Yes, Mega Man 4 Episode 2. 2017. Every other platformer lives. <laughs> yeah. Mega Man lives. Mega Man lives. I mean, so so we should do a fit. We should do a thing where we do the cartoons of platformers that have come back this year. No, no. <laughs> so Mega Man, okay. <laughs> no, I know what you. Dolly was wise to that trap. He was very wise. We are watching it, Donny. We are watching it at some point. You can't escape. You can't escape by constantly telling you no. Yeah, I, I, I can't escape by not watching the show or commenting about the game. That That's okay. We're replacing you with Kazzy. Why do you want to there. punish Kazzy so much? That's a good point. I would be punishing Kazzy. That would be very unfair of me. Or anybody, really. Which is why All right, what we're talking what we're talking about is that at some point, oh, I have no, like, no. At some point, guys at home. At some point, we're doing Wakfu. No, we're not doing Wakfu for why? a very for a very simple reason. 
uh, I actually applied for a job with the guys who do whack through once. Oh. And this is legit. <laughs> so I applied. I applied for a job, <laughs> and then we rang. I rang up, and we had an interview. Yeah. And it was like, okay, this involves moving to Ireland. So that's. And I'm like, yeah. okay. I think. The two people there yeah. then started to disagree over what the job even entailed uh. and began to descend into an argument. Oh. Descent into an argument became a full blown row. Oh, no. I'm sitting there on the phone going, um, whatever. And eventually, it, and eventually they found the bet. They thought the best way of getting out of this argument was to just focus on me and blame me. And so all of a sudden, after them rowing for about five to ten minutes oh. in this interview, they ended up, one of them sort of spun round on me and then like accused me of, this is all because you, you're not dedicated enough to move to Ireland. I was like, what the hell? Uh. What's this all about? And then the other one sort of spun around and sort of went, yeah, and then started inst- basically insulted me for the next 30 seconds. Ah. Uh. At which point I just went, look, you guys have some problems amongst yourselves, let alone me going there. The fact I wouldn't have applied for the job if, you know, I wasn't prepared to move to Ireland. I hope you treat people a lot better than this who else you interview, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm out. I do not want to work for you anymore. Um, goodbye. Uh, but yeah, they, they started being really up, real assholes to me. It was like, okay, wow, well, professionalism. Professionalism. Good. And um, that's why we're not doing rap food. Yeah, we're not doing rap food. Okay. But what I was talking about was um, the possibility of us doing as Cat oh. tries to stop me from saying it, no cat, no. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it all. No. I'm going to say it. no. Oh, well, <laughs> just what know. could possibly go wrong? Indeed. What could no, don't, possibly I know go what wrong? Did there. No. But at some no, point, saw... we were going to do Bubsy, the pilot for the Bubsy series. Had to make the what could possibly go wrong line. You had to do that. You had to. Yeah. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Well, the entirety of this pilot. At some point, if you would like to see us do that, leave a comment no. No, under ye- the video. Ignore Donny. Leave a comment under the video saying, "Please do Bubsy." What, what you should say is, Donny, you, you're a great person, and you should totally not have to do Bubsy with them. <laughs> and Bubsy shouldn't. Bubsy. Okay. But the, but Donny, we can laugh at how stupid it is. But but. But who said it would be funny bad? There's no... It's just bad. It's Bubsy. What could possibly go wrong? God, God damn it. <laughs> He's falling into his own <laughs> Everything. Everything could possibly what go could wrong. Possi- what could possibly go wrong? The script. The direction. The performance. The animation. <laughs> the presentation. Does anyone know what the hell Bubsy is? Um, He's a bobcat. Apparently, he has a large collection of... Of you know, on, and that was the whole point of the series was yes. to collect yarns. Yarnies. You know, you know, like, something that's tells that's me that something, t- something tells me that the young cutting crew coming back was suddenly a bad idea. I don't know why that is, is a hint. <laughs> Honestly, um, it is twenty-one minutes of your life, Donny, where you can just get to kick wait, back wait, and go. Wait, 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 wait! It's twenty-one minutes. Yes. It was a pilot for like a full length. It's 21 minutes long. Yeah. yeah but it's so only it's not the 10 one. minutes long like Boom is. It's only the one. Uh, only the one, and you just get to go, what the heck were they thinking? And what is this I don't understand? I'm like, what is this I don't understand for every episode of Sonic I know, Boom, but so, so, for, so for once, it would be a very accurate question indeed. <laughs> One, there would be no answer for. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> so yes, write in the comments that I want to see you guys do Bubsy. Why? Why? What did I? What did I do? <laughs> <laughs> um. 
What did, what, did, what did any of us do for that actual pilot to be made? Is the point. What did any of us do to deserve it? How old was I at the time? I don't know, but I suspect that... Hang on. I, I, I don't even... Oh, I don't... dear. And the, the... 1993. Wait, wait. 1993. 19... Oh, great. So the, so the pilot is just as old, almost as old as I am. That's... that's... Well, that no, sounds no, no, like... No, 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 no. 1993 means I did nothing because I probably wasn't alive. Oh, well, in which, in which case, Cat, surely it makes sense that you watch it. Okay. Yay! Okay. And Donnie wouldn't let you suffer alone. <laughs> so, so tune in next time when, well, it won't be that. It'll be, it might be something else. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We're, it'll we're be me begging for mercy. That's what it'll be next. Begging for... If he would like, if he would like to see, as, as penance for his absence, if you would like to see Donnie uh, take on with us, Bobsy, like I say, write a comment in the... Uh, comment section where else, would, where else like, would you write it and if you'd like on the wall to, somewhere if you'd like me to link you to a better bub then i will just link you videos of bub the cat yes but we're not doing commentary series on that you don't need to no she um needs no commentary she's beautiful yeah so we've got so who knows what it will be next time um Really what don't could know. possibly it could, go wrong i don't know it could be episode 12 it could be bubsy it could be something else Something else. Who knows? But whatever it is, that's all from us for the time being. I think so from Donnie. For the record, I don't really know what for the time being will actually entail, but hey it's the thought that counts. It is the thought that counts. We might get another episode in before the new year. Who knows? Might we record more stuff. Maybe. We shall find out. What could we shall find out. Wrong? Uh from Cat. Oh, what? Meowing again. Stop meowing! That, that didn't even sound like a okay. meow from my end. I just heard a squeal. <laughs> like a squeak. Yeah. Uh, uh, and from me, Kevin, uh, bye, everybody. We'll see you next time. Please do like, share, comment, subscribe. Do whatever. No, don't, don't, don't comment, because I know exactly what you're going to comment, comment about. No. Comment. Don't, don't. Comment in droves. Get your friends no. to comment. Make Donnie no. do the thing with us. No. <laughs> Make him do the thing. That just now we're just getting very. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Everything. Yes. <laughs> Halloween. Halloween was two months ago. But it's, it's little, Halloween. Halloween was a couple of months ago. Um. A little too early, late for that. Yeah. Bye, buddy. Bye. Bye, I hope. <laughs> <laughs>